Hello guys, it's Yo Mama's Nuggets, but you can call me Nuggets, standing here at the base on the Simpleton server. I've been doing some work, got some fancy pants on, got my fancy pants on. No, we got these out of the dungeon the first time. I did make this armor though. Uh, we might need boots. Yes, we don't have any boots. Anyhow, let me show you. Got this neat little path. Uh, we found a um, skeleton spawner right near the house in our last uh, episode. I have closed that all off and I turned it into a cheap vanilla grinder. So I've been getting lots of stuff here. Put a sword in there too just in case. I got some essence. There's a couple of leftover things in here. I, I've got stacks and stacks of bones and stuff at the house. Um, I've also managed to catch another pig. These pigs are worthless just so you know. All they give you is freaking truffles. I don't want any truffles. I want you to make more pigs, but I can't feed them because apparently they are old spot hogs, which I didn't know. I just thought that was a texture pack for the pig. Yeah. So other than that, um, went around trying to find some food. Uh, I did find some dogs in the backside, and I got the cutest thing in the entire world. Let me show you. Where did it? Oh, yeah. I've also tried to organize my stuff, but I got this guy. Look at this guy. Look at him. He's so cute. Look at him wagging his little tail. Look. <laughs> is, aren't you adorable? You move entirely too much for sitting. And you can pick him up, and now he's in my hand, and <laughs> I can bring him up here. And I can set him on the bed where he was originally. Who you do? He's he just his little hearts all the time. He's just so happy. You are so happy all the time. Cutest thing ever. Got these dogs. They're dogs. I dug down here. Uh just to get do some uh some of the mindy grinding grinding off work. Cowboys on. Say hey to cowboy. Let's just say that that was quite loud. And, uh, yep. So I was digging down here, getting some supplies, and I came out into a ravine. And not just any ravine. And I haven't gone through this either. Because we need to get into Tinkers soon. But a ravine that has an abandoned mine in it. So, uh, yeah. So that, that happened as well. So, uh, this is one heck of a place to choose to build a house. Let me tell you. Uh, I mean to... I was making the ceilings bigger too. Because I mean to make stairs. But I just hadn't gotten around to it. Um, yeah. So... We picked this spot. We built house, right? <laughs> the house is in a nice spruce forest, which you gotta love. We got a skelly spawner there. L let me show you some more stuff here. Because <laughs> it gets even better. We walked over here. We found the skelly spawner. We got the house. Uh, we got a village, right? If you walk past the village that way... There's an ice spikes biome. So there's ice spikes over there. So we can go, as soon as we get ourselves some silky touch, we can go and, uh, I hope I picked, yeah, cool. Uh, we can go and uh, get all the ice that we'll ever need. Because I doubt if we'll ever use any more than that. Anytime soon. I like to come up and steal the villagers' crops. Because, um... We still don't have a food source other than this, but I mean, when you got some veg vegetables up here, what do you need anything else for? But yeah, so built the house, got the spruce wood, got the birch wood. There's some oak over there. There's a roguelike dungeon. That's what we're going to do today. There's a ravine and an abandoned mine under the house. There's a guardian temple over there. There's a village here, there's a skelly spawn right there, and an ice spikes biome, and a slime island. I mean, 
is there anything else? Well, I am going to hook this guy up with some bones for some steak because I am getting terribly low on food. I'm eating baked potatoes. <laughs> so I'm going to talk to him, and I will meet up with you guys when it's time to go in the roguelike dungeon. All right, guys. Not quite at the dungeon yet. We're waiting on Mr. Cowboy. He has agreed to just give us some steak for some bones. And we happen to... I always hit the wrong button. That's what we happen to do. We happen to have almost three stacks of bones for him. Uh, I just gave him my coordinates. And I'm going to murder this rooster. Because they're worthless. All the animals around here are worthless. Uh, anyhow. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just waiting for him to show up. Uh, I assume that he's going to teleport. Um, I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, we can always go back, go over and uh, work on getting some more uh, bones for him um, while he's on his way. And then uh, we can just take it from there. So I guess I'm going to go do that till I see his neat little name in the area. And, uh, yeah. Then I will see you guys when he gets here. Welcome back, guys. His name just popped up. So we're going to go over and uh, say hi. Little bone shuffle. Hello, good sir. I do not know. Let's see. Maybe I can jump into Discord with him. We'll see how this works. I don't know. I always hit I. I don't know why. We're just going to throw all these bones out there at him. Look at him with his fancy slime boots and his diamond armor and his other stuff. Whoa, whoa. Slime, slime sling. Awesome. That's cool as heck. I don't, a hang glider, too. Ah. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, I don't want to lose these going into that dungeon. So we're just going to put all that stuff in there. Because I don't want to lose any of that. We're only going to take half of this steak with us. I'll just set this stuff all in there right now. Well, sir, I have a dungeon to go to. Uh, let's see. I will definitely... Is that oh, leather, too? Definitely be checking that out after the dungeon. Sweet, he even gave me leather to repair them. What a nice guy. I need to do business with him more often. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, that's that's just sweet. I'm going to grab some gear uh, from, I think I have some iron somewhere. Oh, look, I've got five steak. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I think I might have a little bit of gear to wear, and then we're going to go over to the dungeon. Be back with you guys in a second. All right, guys, we are here at the Roguelug dungeon, and we are heading in. Not going to do the whole thing today. That would take quite a while, and uh, I am definitely not geared up for that. Not till we get to some of that wonderful tinker stuff. 
but I am geared up enough to do the first couple of levels anyhow. Hmm. Wonder do we want to move on or keep going? I think we're go th there's the cake. The cake is a lie though. I've I've heard. Let's see. We'll go down here. Nope, no lights to turn on. That sucks. Doorways, nothing. Well, we found the way to the next level. <laughs> Alrighty then. I'm a jack-o'-lantern that we can take, because who doesn't like jack-o'-lanterns? Alrighty, cool. Um, I guess we'll go this way. It's just zombies with axes and stuff. You know, what's there to worry about? Just stand here and uh, say hi. How you doing? How you doing, fellas? Having a good time? Ow! That wasn't very nice. Get out of my life. So let's see. I'm sure you guys have seen people taking out roguelike dungeons, so I'm not going to make you go through this whole thing. I'll bring you back as I clear out each level. So we'll just talk beginnings and ends of levels of uh, loots and whatnot, and I will definitely gonna destroy all these because nobody needs that. Uh, I'm glad I brought my shield. Talk to you guys in a bit. The mighty hunter throws a torch at you. No, I'm back. Um, <clears throat> and I'm silly. And I always hit the wrong button. So, here's what we got so far. It's uh, not a lot. Uh, it seemed like most of the things ran into caves. So, I actually grabbed a bunch of iron, uh, some tin and copper that were there because I need them. It's still early game, and I don't care what you think. I needed it. Other than that, um, yeah. Nothing really interesting to speak of so far. Um, grab some glowstone from the floor over there by the cake, because um, I haven't even thought about going to the nether yet. We are uh, definitely taking our time in this pack. I like the pack itself and I want to play the game and uh, I don't want to just burn through everything as quick as you can in modded but let's just hope this pickaxe holds up for oh my goodness you can fit through that can't you oh no you can't okay good yes you can alright so <laughs> like starting level 2 bring you back at the end Stupid spiders. Okay, guys, welcome back. We had to take a break. Is this a floating island device? That's pretty neat. We had to take a break from the dungeon because uh, mobs. We just had to wait for uh, mobs to despawn. It was kind of killing the frames. So we decided to play around with our new toy. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm pretty sure that I can't bounce that high. Boing. Nope. But there's more pumpkins. This thing is great. Thank you again to Cowboy for hooking us up. Make sure to uh, check him out if you get some time. Super nice guy. Obviously, he gave me a hand. He gave me flying. I mean, not creative flying, but it's flying all the same. This is kind of neat looking. Just cut out into the nothingness. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to stay away from the dungeon to let everything there despawn. So I'm just kind of gliding around, checking some stuff out. 
I find anything that's kind of cool, I will bring you guys back. But other than that, I'm just going to do this for a little while and let that happen. And then I'll go back to the... See if I can go back into the dun dungeon. If not, we're just going to have to call that a day. But uh, I got a lot of good stuff. I uh, put it all on a chest to keep it separate so I can show you everything I got so far. But I will talk to you guys again pretty soon. Alright guys, we just found a another dungeon. We're going to try and see if we can get through part of this real quick. Maybe we... Ooh, uh, soulbound bow? Um, I don't know about that. I don't know about any of this stuff. It's not all that good. Uh, yeah, we're going to go downstairs and see what we can do. Hopefully this one doesn't uh, cause any issues. But I will talk to you guys at the end of the first floor. All right, guys. Uh, we tried something a little different this time. I picked up a few things on the way through, as you can see. Uh, nothing really important. We're getting a bit of... I need the clay. I'll take the food, too. Uh, yeah, nothing super important, but uh, yet I don't really know because... Uh, I just didn't want to run into the same problem that I had the last time where the spawns were so too high for me to actually uh, do anything because uh, I'm waiting for everything to despawn in that other place. So I just ran through this. Uh, you, you die, bat. You need to not be a bat anymore. Stop being a bat. All your fluttering around and squeaking. Go. The strongest bat in the world, I swear to goodness. Um, yeah. So, ran through, torched up the place. Had to kill a couple of mobs. Wasn't too bad. But, uh, yeah, didn't uh, really find anything all... <laughs> the animus. Uh, that interesting. But that's cool. I did kill a creeper. Got a creeper skull. Finally. So that's pretty neat. And get rid of the string. I don't need string. I definitely don't need arrows or spider eyes. Mm. We're gonna take the jukebox just for the heck of it. Does the axe work better? It does. There is the potion room over there. So ooh, slime ball. Uh, sharpness too. Heck yeah. Strength 2, don't care about that. Power 1, sure. Take that, take that. Alright. Yeah, so, uh, uh, like I was saying before I got distracted, there's the potion room back here somewhere. See, it's starting to get a little framey. Stuff must be downstairs spawning. Oh, no! Alright. That could have been much, much worse. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yep. So, gonna collect my loots after I fill in these holes so I don't die. And, uh, yeah. I will go down to the second level and we'll see what we got going on. Alright, guys. Second floor is all cleared out. Gotta say, eh, the drops were a little disappointing. But that's fine. Now to see how the... That's... Odd generation see how our frames work out here this is going to be tough get your steak on get your regen on uh, or lag can make it to where you don't actually drink the potion you know stuff Oh my god, that was a whole bunch of badness right there. And we're out of torches. And that's not good. Whoa, what are you sprinting for, guy? He's a football player. Ouch. Take that out.
Getting beaten up by the football team. Where's my regen? Supposed to be regening. Eat the steak. Run. No. That potion is not working. How am I still alive? Do I have another regen? Strength. Regen. All right. Sweet. <laughs> this is working out way better than I thought it would. If I can get you away long enough to drink that strength potion, th life's going to be much better for me. You are at the end of yours. Potion of strength. Give it to me. Give it. Not that. All right. Let's go wreck some face. Because I don't have any uh, torches left. What you got? Fish shield zombie. Oh goodness. Regen is not doing anything. Why is regen not regening? I would assume that it would last for a while, but I guess not. Get out of here, husk. Out of here, zombie. How come you don't have armor? Get all the crit in your face. So this one's obviously going to be a lot more work. <laughs> all right, I'm going to work on this. Let's see if I can uh, make some headway, and I will be back together with you guys in a little while. All right. This is uh, difficult, to say the least, <laughs> especially when I keep running out of torches. And uh, I got to tell you, it's much more difficult to do a roguelike dungeon that is full of uh, people with enchanted junk. Um, no, that's not what I meant. I meant full of, uh, it's inside of a ravine. It sucks. But I did just uh, find one of them golems, and I got myself an Eye of the Ancients. I was like, you know what? I've got a vanilla pickaxe. Come on, bring it, buddy. So I took care of that. Uh, other than that, yeah, this is rough. <laughs> I'm still working on it, though. I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. We're back at the base, and goodness gracious is all I can say. They uh, are there are way too many spawners. And as you can see, I um, I died a few times. And, okay, guys, we're back. I got stuck in the bed. So, like I was saying, uh, yeah, there's so many spawners, and it was insanity. Uh, I mean, I must have struggled in there for so long. But, you know what, that's fine. We came out with uh, some decent stuff. I think it's some decent stuff, anyhow. Uh, let's see what we got. I don't even know I just threw everything in that chest, but we got this stuff too. All right, so good stuff. We got a saddle. That's awesome. Got some uh, bunch of potions that uh, the only few that I didn't use. I ended up finding some two uh, potion rooms, so I got four things of soul sand. We got enough nether wart there, so we could start that running. Got some melon seeds, which is cool. Got pumpkin seeds I didn't need. Pumpkin seeds I didn't need. Uh, I got a cactus, which is great. So now I can make more cactus because I don't know where that heck of desert is. Uh, let's see. We got a bunch of enchanted books. We got some spawners we can use. I snagged some sticky pistons. Zombie heads. Uh, yeah, a bunch more books. Spawners, shields. Um, yeah. So... Got a music disc, got a brewing stand, so you don't need to make that. Uh, got uh, zombie heads, like I said. I got a creeper head somewhere. I don't know. There it is. It's right in the middle. If it was any closer, I it would have bit me. 
That guy's just loving on life, which is awesome. I'm glad he is. We are going to... I don't have any. Let's just make another chest here real quick if I can find some wood. Planks. Anybody? Planks? Are you planks? Are you a plank? Are you a plank? My name... It's fine. We're going to have to get into some different types of storage here soon. Because, uh, it's too much stuff. It's just, it's just too much stuff. Alright. So we're just going to put all our books in this. Does this one got books in it too, I think? Our books runneth over... And I am just going to open the loot bags. See if we got anything good out of the loot bags. I also picked up an acacia sapling. Not that I really see myself using acacia wood anytime soon. But, eh, you know. I'd rather have it and never want to use it. Than never have it and want it for something. You know come up with something I did oh I also got you are the movingest sitting down thing I've ever seen in my life uh, glad you're a cute little tail wagon thing I got a power to and breaking two bow which I thought was awesome so that's helpful all right we're just gonna dump these in here And see what we got. Yeah, I grabbed a flower too. Probably took up a slot that I didn't need, but... Got some rare loot bags, some epic loot bags, uncommons. And that's just because I had to kill so many things. Alright. Let's see. Do we get anything good? Mm, doesn't look like it. Got some blocks of stuff. Oh, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's a winner. And a donut. What is that? Toad in a hole. That is the weirdest meal I've ever seen. Nickel, manulin, one one ingot. Alright, well. I also got a stuffed pepper. Cool. Well, we got some food. Alright, I did find some clay, which is nice. I uh, didn't find nearly enough clay, but found some so anyhow that's it that's it i'm done i'm not going back to another roguelike for a while i think the next episode we're going to work on this quest book and we are going to get into tinker's construct uh i'm also going to try and find some diamonds and get some obsidian so we can get our nether portal thing going on uh we still have the guardian temple to mess with and uh, a couple other things to uh well, we have a lot of stuff to do so this ain't stopping anytime soon all my armor is broken <laughs> except for this diamond helmet that i got off of a skeleton which is awesome anyhow it's your mama's nuggets guys thanks for joining me this shield is ugly <laughs> take it easy and i'll see you in the next episode Bye bye